Hello YouTube. Today we will be looking into your credit score and will be learning how to understand it. As always this video is just my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a financial advisor. As many of you know, your credit score is an important part of anyone's life. You need a good score for practically everything now. From buying a car with low interest, applying for a mortgage, getting an apartment, and also many employers are looking into them to help decide if you will be a good hire or not. With all of this being said, knowing and fully understanding your credit score can help you tremendously in life. Credit scores are on a point-based system that go all the way up to 850 with the lowest scores being in the 300s. Typically everyone tries to get a score over 740, at that score you will most likely not be denied for anything. However, Anything over a 700 is still considered good. Now that you understand what score you might want to go after let's break the score down into sections to help you work on each one. The first and largest factor is your payment history. This makes up 35% of your score. If you always make your payments on time, chances are you will continue to do so and lenders like to see that. The second largest factor is your amounts owed on your debts. This makes up 30% of your score. This means that all of your credit card utilization also needs to be under 30% on each card. It is even better if you keep them under 10%. So if your credit card has a $1,000 limit, you need to be under $300 to meet that 30% or under $100 if you want to hit the 10%. Being over or under will dramatically change your score. Luckily if you are over one month, you can change that by next month. As always pay off your cards in full to avoid any interest. The third thing is the length of your credit history. That makes up 15% of your credit score. To get approved for anything good, most lenders like to see at least two years of history. That is why it is important to get a Discover card at the age of 18 or as soon as you can. The fourth thing is the types of credit you have. Lenders like to see a mixture of revolving credit or installment loans. Revolving credit is credit cards. Installment loans are things such as car loans, student loans, and mortgages. This makes up 10% of your score. This final 10% is new credit. Lenders do not typically like to see that you have applied to 10 or more new types of loans or credit cards within a year. Every time you apply for a loan they do a hard inquiry on your report. These hard inquiries typically take two years to fall off. Each inquiry can also lower your score, so be mindful when you apply for anything. It is also very important that you have no negative items on your credit report. Negative items can take up to 7 years before they fall off. Until they are off your report, your score will have difficulty rising. There are numerous YouTube videos and Facebook groups that can help you remove negative items. To monitor your credit score, you can use tools such as Credit Karma or the Experian app. As always if you have questions please comment down below and I will try to help. Also if you enjoyed the video please give us a like and think about subscribing. We have many other videos on finances and credit that may help you out. Webull is doing a promotion and if you use my referral link we both get two free stocks after you make a deposit. They are free stocks that range from $1 all the way up to $1,850. See the referral link in the description and have a great day.